Tonight, only on Fox, sleep. Most Americans don't get enough of it, but if someone you love is getting too much, you may want to pay attention. It can easily be misunderstood for laziness, but for one Mesa teenager, it is a problem that has forced him to sleepwalk through life, and no one can tell him how to get help. Here's Saber Gurch. It's something his family has to laugh Not about. Eh. A 19-year-old sharing a habit with his favorite hog. Arty. You see, Arthur, the pig, on, pig, has basically been snoozing for the Arty. last eight years. Arty. So has Brendan. Like, if I want to wake up, I can't wake up. Even a morning snort won't help. We've tried everything that we can think of. Dory's only son started getting sleepy in the sixth grade. His grades started, you know, Dipping. As his head started dropping on his desk in junior high. Finally, they called and said, we can't have him here. He's literally sleeping through second hour. It got worse. <laughs> Big, huge. I couldn't even tell people. I didn't want to say it. Because he was practically in a coma when he actually made it to class, Brendan did not graduate. And the breaking point was when we pulled him out of school and started doing all of the testing for drugs, negative, anemia, sleep apnea, depression, medication, a CT scan of his head, came out normal, he had his, thyroid tested. his neurologist said it wasn't narcolepsy. A therapist, a psychiatrist, and my doctor all had three different answers and solutions. Now, eight years after the problem started, he still is undiagnosed. I've seen people struggle a lifetime to try and figure things out. Dr. Michael Bruce is a board certified sleep specialist. Three or four years ago, there were probably about 75 sleep disorders. This year we're topping the number between 85 and 88 sleep disorders. Every few years we start to recognize something else that we didn't know. Most people don't know how to get enough sleep. It's very frustrating for people. Snuggled into six beds at five American sleep diagnostics clinics every night, people being plugged in to find the problem. Everything seemed to have really hit when uh, we had the invention of the light bulb. With light to work by around the clock, sleep lost its natural time slot. Now the nation is so short on shut-eye, one in three Americans suffers insomnia. Then there's the ultimate, the 17-year-old who stayed awake for 11 days straight. He is the world leader in sleep deprivation. I think you could probably say that it's at epidemic levels at this point, truthfully. If sleep deprivation is the norm, Brendan's bedtime cycle isn't. Just because I cannot understand it, and my husband cannot understand it, and most people cannot understand it, and the school system does not understand it, that's, that's been a struggle. This is where the big sleep happens in 12 to 16 hour stretches. More and more I think it, it's becoming a bigger and bigger deal. Sometimes he'll only be awake for a few hours or minutes before he's comatose again. Because if he got up, would have to stay there in his room until he stood up because if he just sat up he would fall back to sleep and he'd be out it takes a cell phone alarm under his pillow an alarm clock another alarm clock then i'll rig my radio to his television that will blast in his room hello friends call every 10 minutes this is all to try to get him to get up when he's awake <laughs> Oh no, not him. You'll find him at 3 a.m. on his computer or trying to hold down a job at a pizza shop. It's tough. Hearing every day that I'm lazy and I procrastinate. Absolutely, we see a lot of people labeling these kids or adults. Sleepwalking through life when even doctors Fuck. don't understand. There are still people we don't know the answers to yet. <laughs> Come on, pig. Brendan continues his battle to stay awake. But for this sleeping beauty, life is a dream. Sabra Gurch, Fox 10 News. Brendan is now at the point of needing surgery to solve his problem. Doctors are hoping to clear a large air path through his nose that will help him find a normal sleep pattern. Brendan slept through his pre-operation appointment.